What up, guys? Joe the Magic Gather here, and we got Secret Lair Saturday. We got Secret Lair Commander Deck. It's raining cats and dogs. Uh, these are the Commander Deck pre-cons that Secret Lair does every once in a while. I know they're going to start doing these, like, a lot more. And, of course, I cannot open up the packaging. Uh, let's see. There we go. We just got to use some brute force. All right, secret layer card. We know how this goes. You get this brown little cardboard box we don't really care about. Uh, little wax paper. Ooh, did they change the box? No, no, it's still the same box. All right, so the commander deck, you get this little black matted box. It's a nice box. It's a, it's a nice little textured feeling box. Uh, it's nothing fancy. It'd be cool if they did a little more with, like, deck boxes moving forward. Like, I, I'm going to put this in a different deck box. What I'm saying, I'm, I won't be keeping this in this deck box. It's, uh, it's nice, but it's not nice enough for me to put in a bag with all my other decks. So, yeah, pretty cool little deck box. Oop, everything's falling out. Make sure we got everything. That's just the spacer. All right. Next up, you get your life counter. Again, it... It's cool that they do like a cool little artwork on it, but these are the same ones that come in every uh, Commander deck pre-con. It's nothing crazy, just the art is very, uh, it's nice. I like the black and white. Uh, this is a little promotional flyer here. Some cool artwork. Some people like to hang these up and have them. I don't really care for them that much. And then you get your 100 card deck. This is uh, 150 bucks right now. I think the first commander deck that they sold with Secret Lair, the heads, uh, the coin flip one, it was $100, and then everyone afterwards has been $150. And we're just gonna go through it real quick. I don't know. I'm like torn. I think it's worth it because if you were to build a commander deck, yes, you can build a commander deck for cheap, but. This is pre-constructed. Yes, it's not the best mana base. I agree. I understand. But I don't know. You get cool alternate art. So these are, uh, are these the thick cards? Yeah. So you get your cardboard really thick cards. And these are double-sided with uh, alternate art. I think I like this side better. It's very cool. So you get your thick cardboard pieces of art. Are there? Yeah, I think all the new arts get it. Very cool. Very nice. Ginny Fay. I like it. Okay, so you got three. Okay, so they put the commanders with the thick cardboard. Now here's their foil version. It's beautiful art. I like it. Yeah, I like the other side better, the black side. Okay, here we go. It's very nice. So yeah, cats and dog themed. I think we were due. I think it's cool that they're doing a cats and dog theme. There is that. Now she's hanging out with all the cats on this side. The art is very stunning. Anointed Procession. I think this still holds like around 40, 50 bucks. Even with this reprint. It's uh yeah, it's definitely gonna hold, I think. Okay. Soul ring. Oh, is this flip too? Oh, it does flip. Anointed procession. Sorry about that. Beautiful cat. I like the way the blue and the purple pops on that. We get a soul ring kitty. And we get a dog. That's awesome. Yeah, the art is stunning on this. I mean, it's really, really gorgeous. All right, so now we get into the meat and potatoes of the deck. I'll just go through this here. Uh, I'm not going to comment too much on this stuff. I don't know. I think it's worth it. I, I like the fact that Secret Lair is doing these commander decks. I like that. Ooh, Curse Mirror. I like that card. I like the fact that it's not print to demand anymore. I like that it's first come, first serve. Like, hey, we have 200,000 units of this product. The first 200,000 people to pick them up. Realm Walker, nice. Ooh, Return of the Wild Speaker. I love that card too. Uh, first 200,000 people get the product. I mean... That's what Secret Lair was supposed to be from the beginning. It wasn't supposed to be, hey, let's put it up for like three months and wait three months until people put their orders in and then go. Okay, lands. Here we go. 
Oh, Jetmere's Garden. That's a good reprint. Very cool. And I know there's a lot of people that were like, oh, it's sold out in like three hours. Like, it's not enough time. Yeah, I, I get it. I understand. But they made an announcement that they were going to be doing it this way. Nice reprint. They made an announcement that they were going to be doing it this way. So I don't know. I don't know what to say. Set notifications. Sign up for their email so you know. Okay. Let's put those right here. I don't know. I just think a lot of times people put the people put the problem on. Uh, ooh, I love this artwork. I know it's not like the most amazing card, but like the artwork is very cool. I like that she's like flying over the air over there. Beastmaster Ascension, very nice. Cultivate. But uh, I think a lot of people put the the problem. Ooh, lurking predator. Pre uh. Man, this card is in this deck. I love this card. Anyways, uh, I think a lot of people put the problem on uh, on wizards and they put the problem on other people instead of taking responsibility for themselves. And I don't know. I think it's a problem with the magic community overall. We're like, I get you want things to be cheap and I get that like you want them to be accessible. And I'm not saying that they shouldn't be cheap or accessible, but we also have to realize like, the reason we enjoy the thrill of opening packs and cracking packs is that there are expensive chase things in the packs. And like, yes, getting something expensive is going to price out a certain group of people, but that's what makes it fun. It makes it fun to open up like a $20 pack and open up a $200 card from a collector pack versus opening up a $3 pack where you don't have the chance to open up that variant because it's only in collector packs. But you get like a base copy of it in the regular packaging, in a regular set. I don't know. I think people just get so pissy over like things and you can't have your cake and eat it too. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know. It's infuriating sometimes. I hate seeing the comments section where people are just like, oh, it must be nice to buy things. It must be nice to be able to afford specialty product. Like, I'm sorry, man. Like, I worked hard my life. Sorry that I could afford it. I'm not going to apologize for that, you know, I'm saying uh, sorry sarcastically. I'm not going to actually apologize for being able to afford things in my life. I don't know. I think I find it very, very odd. There's nothing wrong with working hard and then spending money leisurely on the things you enjoy. These are awesome. I do like that they did these. So what? All the planes are dogs? Oh, no, there are cats in there too. Very cool. <sighs> this is great. I think, I think they hit a home run with this set. This is so cool. I like that all these planes and mountains are uh, dog theme. Could have been cool if we got a couple of variants. They seem to all be the same. Oh, forest is only cats. Okay, cool. Very nice. Oh, and we get some tokens in the back. I knew a little bit about this product. I didn't want to spoil too much of it. Dogs. Do these flip over? Yeah, cats. There we go. Yeah, I've had dogs and cats all my life. So, yeah. When this came out, I thought, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty neat to open up. Okay, so these are just some base copy cat tokens here in the back. Oh, I forgot they have. Oh, I forgot that there was going to be secret layer cards in the back. Very cool. The goodest legendary boy and nine lives. Dude, the art is stunning on these. So cool. Are they flips? No, just regulars. Dude, that art is gorgeous. The nine lives art is so good. Look how that pops. Holy cow. Wow. That was cool. I'm glad I didn't know about this ahead of time. Wow, those are gorgeous. Okay, let's put these down. So yeah, just a quick review and my thoughts on this. I really enjoy the Commander Deck Secret Layers. I think at $150, I know some people are pissed about because they're like, you guys did the first one for... Actually, I have it right here. This first one, the coin flip one, this one was 100 bucks, And then after that, every one afterwards, I have them all right here. They uh, they became 150 bucks. I just, 
I think for a commander deck, when you're getting 100 cards, you're getting specialty artwork, you're getting flip artwork, uh, I, I think it's going to hold a premium, and I don't see anything wrong with charging 150 bucks for it. I wouldn't... I don't think you should go much higher than that. I think if you start to do $200 a deck, then it starts to get like, eh, you could kind of just build the same deck. But I think if you were to, I don't remember the exact number, but I think if you bought every single copy at their cheapest price of this deck, I think it comes to like 250 bucks or 300 bucks, something in that area for uh, for if each base copy, like non-foil, just a basic copy of everything. So at that point, 150 bucks to buy the deck is worth it. You're actually saving money buying this specialty product with all the cool little, you know, deck boxes and you get the counter, you know, they're nothing fancy. I think they could do a little more with that, but you do get the cool alternate arts and all that. So I think for 150 bucks, this product was worth it. Uh, I enjoy it. I like the theme of cats and dogs. I like all the themes they've done with the commander deck secret layers. And yeah, that's that's my opinion on it. I know some people are not going to like that. Some people are going to say that, oh, it's only because you could afford it, blah, 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 blah. Listen, if you hate on somebody because they could afford to spend money on their hobby that they enjoy, I think the problem's really you being upset with you. Uh, and we need to stop doing that because it does nothing to benefit your life just to hate on somebody else for those things. Anyways, that's Secret Lair, Commander Deck, It's Raining Cats and Dogs. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.